Hello my friends, welcome back to the race swapped StarCraft 1 NORAD 2, but not really, because Tassadar is imprisoned. Let's jump right into this. Come on. Come get me. You didn't think I'd be caught so easily, did you, Executor? You have only destroyed a phantom. You and the traitor Tassadar are to cease your resistance and surrender yourselves to the judgment of the Conclave. Though I fear you would doom us all, Alderis, I surrender myself to the Conclave. End Taro Adun, Executor! Don't give up the fight! I love it. Aldaris Deep Lore. By the gods, this is ill news indeed. Why would Alderis betray us so? In Faro Adun, Executor. All seems lost now, but still we must fight on. We must find Tassadar and secure his release from the Judicator before they can execute him for treason. Executor, there are Zerg on this wretched world. They must have taken control of Tassadar. Our forces shall engage the primary Zerg Hive Clusters in an attempt to weaken their defenses. Once their numbers have thinned out, Zeratul and his companions can infiltrate the clusters. We shall evacuate you, Tassadar. We will do what we can. All right, we got the deep lore going on. I love it. All the audio splicing. There's not a whole lot. It's it's tough to work with uh, StarCraft 1 audio specifically because there's just not that much of it compared to StarCraft 2. However, I think Vinlay does a pretty good job with it. I am quite impressed. Yeah, you come on over here. Let's grab all these guys. And this, unfortunately, is a mission where we start with negative 7 billion economies. Which is a little bit rough. We do have a High Templar. We have a lot of these guys. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty okay with what we have right here. Let's just uh, build up. We're going to get a lot of gas, and let's pop on up here and just take stock. The Tassadar is surrounded by spore colonies. We will deploy our Corsairs to compensate for their defenses. It's our little guy. I, I, I think they'll probably be... Oh, we actually... Yeah, Corsairs. All right, let's do this. Uh, what do we want to do with Corsairs? Interesting. We could go like pure Zealot Corsair. That's not bad. Yeah, this is a base. So we could get this base. We could get the minerals on it. Then we could go one Gas Geyser, get Corsairs to go with the stuff, and just spam out a billion Zealots and cover them with the Sairs. I kind of like that. I think it'll be pretty strong. So what we want to do is... Archon. <laughs> yeah, focus and get down the ramp. Thank you. Uh, yeah, what we can do is get maybe like two cannons here, one cannon there. Definitely need some cannons at that base because it is a little bit vulnerable to dying. But that'll be a lot of minerals to work with, and we can kind of just use brute force to bash and smash in. I don't think, yeah, I don't think we want to use much else on this mission. I do, ooh, okay, I, hmm. Oh, by the way, by the way, by the way, by the way, Finlay decided to introduce a nice little quality of life change for us, and that is High Templar have an auto attack, just like Tassadar. Which, honestly, I'm all for. I know that there's going to be some StarCraft 1 purists out there who are like, the purity of our game is being besmeached. But you know what? Uh, it's a custom campaign. <laughs> it should be it should be accessible and it should be fun. Now, what I'm really waiting for is the day that we get uh, the ability to... Whoa, hello. To scout with our expansion. The day that we get the ability to rally point mine. So we don't have to constantly grab our workers and send them on over. I think that would be... Oh! Harassment. I think that would be the day that StarCraft 1 custom campaigns really end up on the map for a lot of people. Like, I think that we all agree it's uh, tough to macro and stuff in it, but by far and away the hardest thing in this game to get used to as a StarCraft 2 player is having to manually rally all your workers. 
Having 12 units per control group, kind of annoying, but you can deal with it. Having a uh, man, you have to click on buildings individually to macro. Once again, annoying, but you can learn to deal with it. But it's just the constant worker rallying is, it takes so much action. I mean, I'm sitting here with 200 APM and I'm doing basic macro tasks. I'm not doing anything useful, but it's just what you got to do in this game. So yeah, I really do like the idea of building a lot of zealots, supplic- uh, supp <laughs> It's not supplicanted. <laughs> Supplicants are the bad Taldrim thing. <laughs> Supplemented. All right. Oh gosh, we gotta get over here quick. Or they're gonna kill it. Why do fourlings kill a cannon, dude? <laughs> this, this game is so silly sometimes. Oh man. That is the power of the Zergling. So we're going to get two cannons up here, so they have to send a whole eight lings to fight. <laughs> and then maybe one right over here. This is... it's more of a backup cannon than anything. Okay, this economy is looking real solid at this point, so we're going to set the rally over here. Hey, good timing too. You guys are coming down, and of course we're going to grab that ground weapons upgrade first, and then we'll get our Stargate. You have not enough minerals. Because we want to... I don't know if we can get plus two attack, but if we can, that would also be nice. What does the enemy have? That's a spore colony. You can't, can't get upgrades off of that. Let's go up there and give it a check. D-Web? Where are you? Looks like I thought I saw 1-1 one, one there. Uh, plus, just plus one armor on the Muta, and then I think I saw 1-1 one, one on the Hydra. That's okay, though. We can deal with that. Oh, yeah, attack me. Oh, just one carapace right now. Good. Great. Yeah, I think one Stargate should be enough with the way that we're doing things here. This almost is more of a StarCraft II style of build where you're not utilizing all the gas possible. That's kind of how you play Protoss in multiplayer a lot of the time. You just don't want to get the gas geysers on your expansions because you can spam zealots, basically. <laughs> zealots are just good. Oh, no, 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 no. That's my gateway zealot. Or gateway probe. I need him for macroing. The enemy is definitely more aggressive here. Finlaid said that he buffed the AI. He made them a little bit more intelligent. Not like, uh, he didn't do like the, oh, I just built a million billion production structures and gave them a million billion things. But instead he took basically what the AI starts with and he made it more intelligent, I believe. Don't, uh, don't quote me on this in the YouTube comments, <laughs> including this part. That would be very embarrassing if I was wrong, <laughs> but I think that is what he did. Okay. Zealots go, and I think we're going to get two control groups of zealots, and then we are going to push out and just start getting stuff done. We'll have Phoenix, who's going to be able to provide support. We have Corsairs, who are going to be nice and strong, and hopefully everybody can get along. And by get along, I mean destroy the Zerg. Zell, L, it, it, it. Not enough minerals. Perfect. No, oh, not perfect. This guy's not building. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven is the... <laughs> it's the perfect number of gateways so that in two rounds worth of stuff, you can build... <laughs> you can build a full control group with that one guy who awkwardly stays at home and then when a Zergling counterattack comes, he perfectly intercepts it like a boss. That is the strategy that we're working with here. It's a very common one. Pioneered by... Pioneered by Rain. He's a big fan of it. Just uh, go ask him yourself. Okay, we grab this, and then... Zell, Zell, Zell. We don't have nearly as many minerals as I thought we would. I also completely forgot to get my Zealot Leg Speed upgrade. I'm considering when to start building a shield battery here. But right now it doesn't feel necessary. 
Also, yeah, there's a lot of doodads here. We could fit a robo right here to build the shuttle, but I'm not sure it's necessary. We might just build it over here for safety's sake. Because if the AI is buffed, I might have to do multiple pushes. And yeah, if we need to build a battery, then I would like to have that option, that sort of stuff. So yeah, we're going to do it this way. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. AI's getting real angry. D-Web here. D-Web there. Then... Zealots come a-streaming. Please tune in on Zealot.tv to see their newest live streams. We're gonna pile on to this guy. Yeah! We have constructed additional pylons. Oh, you guys gotta get back. Well, that was that was to free up a little bit of supply for our Corsair, our little best buddy. And I think it's Robo time. Everybody likes a little bit of Robo tossing. Okay, you guys here. I always kind of wonder when I make a joke like the Robotossin one, uh, how... It, it, I guess it's a kind of a cultural joke, isn't it? I bet the Europeans don't understand that one. Because <laughs> it's, it's referencing a brand name. And I think that uh, those are often very different in other areas of the world. I don't know why I singled out the Europeans as the ones that wouldn't understand. It's probably North America exclusive. Sorry, all my Australian viewers, too. You guys are actually the number one country. Or no, 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 not number one country, but uh, like my number one, two, and three watched cities are in Australia. So you guys are cool. I know it's just because you guys have like three cities, but I still think that's very neat. And I say hi. This zealot timing is for you. This is working quite well. We blasted through really well. We have a lot of zealots on top of everything, particularly on top of these layers. Uh, as we saw in the previous things, there's always a bit of an issue when the AI is really good at producing in StarCraft that you have to get on top of their production and kill it real fast. Otherwise, they're just overwhelming. That's one of the reasons I'm a big fan of zealot energy because they have the ability to take the fight and then keep going and going and going and blast through production structures real quick. Which, against Zerg, is just a couple that are really durable. Yeah, this area is good. Now we're going to reconvene our forces. Let's grab some of these shuttles that we need to finish off the mission. And... This is good. Now time to Corsair. Don't go up there. There's scary stuff up there. <laughs> we had two Dragoons, and one of them managed their way into the front. He truly is the paragon of his unit type. Pathing in all the wrong directions all the time. What a legend. Gotta be careful with these Corsairs. I don't want them to run up there. Uh that's not actually what I was afraid of originally, but it's still bad. Oh gosh, we're going down here as well. Our friends are not staying. No! My new circlings beat Orcons! Oh wow, the AI is getting real good here. Phoenix is down. We're gonna have to rebuild him. We took down the Nexuses over here. I think that. Oh, we're having an issue with the egg and pathing too. Get on top of them. And just keep it going. Got a few guys over here that can help out, and we actually have to pull back. AI did a really good job of rallying there. Quite impressed. They didn't wipe us out. We're not, like, in danger of losing or anything. But they definitely, definitely fought back. And that is great to see. Corsairs are still real good against Mutas, though. You have not enough 
Okay. We come this way. Now we gotta take stock of what we have, which is you guys, you guys, into control group number one. Control group number two. We have plus, oh, we only have plus one attack. Uh, plus two attack on the way. Phoenix is now red, not teal. He's blending in. Fortunately, we don't have any other Dragoons, so we shouldn't have a hard time telling which one is him. The uh, secret benefit to this strategy. I guess uh, if you were the Zerg, it would be better to... Did I just see an Ultra? No, not at all. <laughs> what am I doing? Phantom Ultralisk. Okay, we're gonna head up here. Check out all of our guys going. Are they rebuilding this? Nah, it looks like their last little vestiges are here. We can grab all these, bring them down. Now, what are we looking at in terms of Muta and Scourge count up here? I bet it's pretty decent. It always is. So a couple guys to defend the rear seems okay. Shuttles give us the all clear. We're going to send the stairs in. We're going to just disable random things. Whatever, we got hit. That's fine. This is exactly what we want. Let's scoop everybody up and bring them over here. And actually, no scooping required. We can just walk. Nice. That was good. That was fun. I liked it. Composition worked out really well. This is a... Oh, they just ran a scourge into it. <laughs> we gotta build a new shuttle now. Wait, where's, uh... Where's Phoenix? Oh, he... He didn't properly path down there. No, I should have picked him up. I was like, oh, no scooping necessary. Idiot. Giant dumb games. Okay, Phoenix, you actually have to get down here, buddy. So he didn't manage to get down, so the shuttles were sitting there, at which point a Scourge found its way over and took one down. Very awkward. We're just going to keep clearing all this while we are waiting, make it a little bit a little bit less of a route that we have to traverse through. These guys in the back have been legends. These are like whatever the opposite of a, a Kundalar is. Usually we got the tip of the spear, but this guy is like the butt of the spear staying behind. And he has been just as important. Just keeping these guys for a little bit of vision so we can make sure we see what's going on. Corsair is going everywhere. Perfect. And then swing down to the end and the mission should as well. Yay! Pick him up! In Taro Adun, Executor. My gratitude to you for having secured my release knows no bounds. By all the gods, we may win yet. Ah, uh, it is Tazadar. Greetings, Tazadar. I am overjoyed to see you return home in this dark hour. The Zerg have redoubled their efforts, and it seems... Phoenix. It can't be. The Executor told me of how you fell before the Zerg. How is it that you live and breathe? <laughs> well, after my unfortunate defeat, my ruined body was recovered by our brethren. I now reside within the cold robotic shell of a Dragoon. Old friend, would that this never came to pass. Nonsense! There is no shame in defeat, so long as the spirit is unconquered, and I am still able to serve Aya to a degree. But enough of this. We should destroy Eldaris Executor. Okay, let's go destroy Eldaris Executor. That was a long post-credit scene. Let's uh let's jump on into it. Bring the Callus Crystal to the enemy base. Is it Aldaris's? Executor. Our sensors have just identified a large group of Terran vessels. Executor, it seems that if our world is to live, 
We must destroy General Duke. Although it pains me greatly. The time for action is upon us. The Callus Crystal must be taken to the Terran Blockade. Executor, prepare our forces. Zeratul shall carry the Callus. A bold plan, young Artanis. All right. I'm ready for Zeratul to carry tool the Callus. Uh, I guess he's not. His probe is. Oh, whatever. Hmm. Actually, let's see. Put you up here. Let's grab these guys. This, 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 this. You. And you. Can we just, like, secure this base real early? We might be able to. That would be a huge boon to us. It'd make life way easier. Because unlike Terran, we have a whole lot of punching power in the early stages. Because usually they put, like, tanks around here and, you know, a single marine. Whoa. Wait, does that spawn in? I never knew that. Either that or it just was the world's fastest drop that I didn't see. We're gonna... We're gonna put Zeratul right here. We're gonna have you guys here. We got this Reaver in position. Let's drop the Observer. Do we have any more Observers? That'd be real nice. Oh, I have a dumb idea. <laughs> I have a very dumb idea. Okay. I think I know how I want to do this mission. I think it won't work, but it's, uh... It's worth a shot. I guess we need to get minerals first, and we'll take the expansion. Then we'll have an expansion. That'll be great. We need a whole lot of Vespine gas. Oh, General Duke's not going to know what hit him. Man, I, I think I've told this story before, but it's a fairly old one from a couple years ago. And every time that I hear General Duke, it makes me laugh because of it. Uh, if you're an old-time... If you're an old-timey fan, then you might remember... The, when I did the collab with Artosis a long time ago, where I taught him how to speedrun a bunch of StarCraft 1 missions, it was really fun. It was actually a great time. Artosis is a great guy. I'd make fun of him sometimes because his stream is very weird. But when you actually get to interact with him, he's absolutely phenomenal. Uh -huh. But when we did this collab, it was really fun. We did like a variety of different missions. I gave him the base introduction to the speedrun strats for. And then we sat down for, I think, about two and a half hours and tried to do, and tried to get him a world record on the big push, which is one of the, the upcoming mission where you usually have uh, Duke himself in the NORAD, and he runs around and blasts everything. But if you go back in time to GSL around then, right after we did this, Artos is, you know, he's not a lore guy. He doesn't care about the lore of the story, and that's fine. He's a competitive player. But, uh, like, two days after we did the thing, he, uh, one, a Terran player did something with a battle cruiser, and he was like, that's General Duke right there, the legend! <laughs> it was so good. And then General Duke came up in his GSL cast, like, three more times in the next couple days, and then he never talked about him again. And now, I just, every time that I... Uh, Every time that I hear someone say General Duke, I just am reminded of that and how excited he was. Oh, it was so great. What a wonderful time. Ooh, what do we got over here? Nothing. We have a bunch of dead people. Thank you, Mr. Reaver. Uh, I wish the collab potential in the StarCraft community was higher. It's just very difficult because the game is fundamentally a single-player thing for the most part. Most of the multiplayer venues just aren't super enthralling. And I think that's a shame because, man, there's so many other games that have these great collab things, and when we do them, it is actually pretty fun. It's just keeping it novel is very difficult. If anyone has any ideas for good ways to do, like, uh creator collaboration stuff that would be that would be awesome because really the only person that is talented enough to be doing it successfully right now is Harston with all of his content and I'm sure you've seen it Rank Roulette and Who Wants to Be a Grandmaster really really fun shows completely a blast to be on and it'd be really nice if we could have more of that community aspect to things I remember uh I was talking to a fairly large StarCraft content creator at one point, who I'm going to leave unnamed because obviously giving details about a story would be very rude. 
But I remember uh, they kind of casually mentioned that if they could go back to 2010 and do everything over... Whoa! If they could do everything all over again, they would try to mobilize all the content creators to live in the same region. Kind of like how content houses exist for a lot of other games and stuff like that. Just so that the... They'd be able to make content together. It'd be so cool. Ow, 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 my bones! Okay, so... That's not bad. It's not the end of the world. We're going to keep getting gateways. Everything over here. Put these right here. One, two, three, four... Hey, let's get one more. Perfect. Keep this probe a little bit hidden. I don't think we need any armor upgrades or anything, but I do like the idea of having... Oh, you're a guy as well. I do like the idea of having zealot legs. I think that'd be nice. I'm keeping Zeratul up here, just to make sure this area is not going to get blasted. I actually can't produce out of all these, can I? I'm going to run out of money in a moment. <laughs> this strategy, I think that this is going to be one of those builds where either things are going to go really well, and I'm go everyone's going to go, wow, Grant is actually not the dumbest person on the planet. Or, things are going to go really poorly, and everyone's going to go, dude, Grant is the dumbest person on the planet. <laughs> There doesn't seem like there's a whole lot of room for in-between with this strategy, but uh, we're going to give it a shot nonetheless, because it seems like it's going to be fun. Oh, we got to rebuild our little scarabs over here, otherwise that area is always vulnerable to attack. We probably want 12 High Templar. Yeah, 12 High Templar seems like a good number. A control group of them. Maybe I should have gotten my gas earlier. I can never really tell. Actually, this is another thing. If so, what's going on here? Wraiths? I have two Dragoons. Fortunately, they seem a little bit split up. Which is good. Oh, gosh. A little bit stuck, though. I think that's okay. Yeah, it's just wraiths. I do like they kind of test the boundaries, though. Make sure that you have your ducks in a row. That is one of the things about StarCraft 1, is they are not afraid to attack from anywhere and everywhere. <laughs> you, you are not safe just because you have your choke points covered. And I think some people really like that, and some people are really upset by it. And I think that you can switch between being those two people depending on the time of day and depending on what mission it is. Okay, just get a couple more zealot. Dude, they... They are wraith aficionados over here. Alright. I mean, if that's how you want to be spending your days, I can respect it. Whoa. I just, like, couldn't click anything for a bit there. That was weird. I don't know what that was. It's like the old days when sticky keys would enable. <laughs> oh, the marine. Dude. Whoa, he killed a dragoon. Whoa, it's, it's... <laughs> this is a collab. <laughs> they prepared that one. Okay, we got it. Okay, this guy is the one we need energy on. You guys up here, you guys up here. And we're about ready to have our beautiful, beautiful strategy fail miserably. And remember... Whoa! <laughs> Hi! Oh, wait, can we just run you away, please? You looked like you were leaving. Can we just let you do that? <laughs> they were mad. That's awesome. Oh, man. I was so distracted waiting on energy and stuff, I kind of stopped producing for a bit. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, these are my friends. And then we Archon Morph everything. And we get you guys to go, you guys to go, you guys to go. Everything goes. Probes go. More hallucinated guys go. Get some of you to attack over here. Keep making it happen. Okay, now you guys move forward. Oh, we don't have much over here. Oh, dude, he's stuck. The one with the rock is stuck. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, it's not going to work at all. Oh, it was actually really close. Huh. Well, that's the awkward middle ground that I wasn't expecting. I guess we try it again. We have... Hmm. So, we, we had pathing issues. We had Starcraft 1 pathing issues there. The idea wasn't bad, though. I gotta admit. I think that it was uh, very close to working. And... If it had just gone a little bit differently, that would have been a completely successful strategy. It's just movement is very tough. And I kind of got caught up on myself. I rushed a little bit because the duration is not infinite, right? You don't get to sit there with hallucinations. They time out pretty fast, so I wanted to make something happen. But unfortunately, I was not able to. And probes, uh, they don't move cleanly. Never have. We're safe on this side. We're still getting a lot of zealots. I wonder how many we need to make this work. That is a good question. Oh, maybe we should do Archons as our hallucination target. I kind of like that. Because they're more, they're more bulky. If we had vision, oh, if we had vision of minerals over here, we could mineral walk. Okay, let's uh, let's try to get a probe and tr see if we can mineral walk using an observer to get vision. Sorry, this is one of those things that I should be good at in StarCraft anyway, and I've just never really done much of in StarCraft 1, so... Thinking about stuff like this is always interesting to me. A lot of learning that we can be doing during all of this. I don't know if there's a base up here, though. I feel like there is. There has to be. There's always a roleplay base. So if we can find it, we'll be golden. Oh, we found it! Yeah, we don't need we don't need full vision of it. We just need fog of war vision, right? Let me check. Yeah. Okay, now they can mineral walk their way there. That'll that'll be insane. Then they won't get in everyone's way. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry that I'm doing this, but this is like one of those... If it ever comes up at some point in the future, these are the things that you want to know, right? How to do to become good and not, not have issues. So... Let's just take all these guys down. It always looks like fire bats when they explode should do, uh... It's not even the explosion, but it's the sound effect. They feel like they should be doing area damage. Okay, you guys this way. You guys this way. Then you guys go... No, 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 no! Loose nation. Loose nation. Archons go. You guys go. Probes go. Oh, this is awful. This is, uh... This is a pathing nightmare. The Archons were actually too big. Let's see if we can destroy some stuff. Where's the rock? Where's the rock? Oh, it's right here. It's right here. Did SCV move it? What? What? Well, give it back! No! <laughs> He's got one HP! Are you... What? <laughs> we are under attack. <laughs> no! What do we do? 
Oh, that's so good. <laughs> we gotta, we gotta be careful here. I can't believe an SCV picked up the crystal. Dude. Okay, I was really trying to make this hallucination strategy work, but now we just have to work with the money that we have, produce a bunch of stuff and go. Like, that is, that is rough. That's really, really tough. I think we had it if the SCV didn't grab it. It would have been ours. But no. He he knew what to do. Okay, so I guess we're making actual Archons. We're going to get an attack upgrade just in case. I am I'm shocked. I'm in awe. I'm really impressed <laughs> with the AI. I didn't know they could do that. I'm not sure they knew they could do that. And yet here we are. That's so cool. Okay. So there has to be, like, I'm not going to do the hallucination thing again. I've learned that it just really, really does make the pathing so difficult that it is not really a desirable outcome. However, there has to be an optimal unit to do it with. One that has enough bulk that they can take a few hallucination shots, but are also, like, really, really decent at, uh, pathing. Because the Archons were too big. It, it feels like we're playing a little bit of Goldilocks, you know? It's like, this one's too big, this one's too small, this one's just right. And we'll find it sometime. But all in all, I think it's a very interesting strategy that is not necessarily something I'm good at, because StarCraft 1 is a hard game. Uh, like, these two guys are trying to Archon morph, but they can't because there's an Archon in the way. Uh. I wonder how much we need. Because the Archons do die fast, but they're what we got here. We also don't have a whole lot of economy if this goes awry. Start pulling these guys over. Dude, please. Argon down that. Zealots get on top of the tanks. I hear another tank somewhere, but I don't see it. I'm going to pull back a moment. We're going to bring Zeratul into the fight as well. He doesn't really need to be holding that area. And then just keep producing. Get you guys... Ah, here we go. A lot of tanks on this side. We're pulling a lot of those defensive tanks out of position, which is great. We may have to go on an adventure, though, to find this SCV. Yeah, he's just not here anymore. He has taken... He has stolen the objective and taken it somewhere. Which is hilarious. Is it back here? Oh. Uh, huh. This is becoming a problem. I don't see him in the slightest. There's a lot of tanks still. Just keep producing. We're, we're in it to win it. I guess we send you guys back to... Oh, how'd it get back there? Oh, a tank's camping it. No, no, no. Oh, we are so close to winning this mission. It's just like... <laughs> this is such a weird adventure. Okay, the enemy shouldn't have that much stuff, but neither do we. Here it is. At least we have vision of it again. That's the good part. I, uh, I feel so trolled right now. The game knew that I was recording this. Dude, just morph, please. 
I cannot stand StarCraft 1 sometimes. <laughs> it's funny when it's not dire, but then you're like about to die, you have seven workers, and you just need to go. And they're just like, what if we spun in circles forever? It's like, yeah, that's a good, good idea. Oh, that's maybe good. Let's get these guys out of the way. Grab the objective. Everybody comes this way. We have a lot of backup guys to pick stuff up. And this whole area is clear. Okay, we got it. Wow. What a silly thing. <laughs> like how we just got another one? Oh, that was so... That was wild. That was a ridiculous mission. Everything fell apart, but in a pretty funny way. I'm happy with it. I, uh... The initial idea was obviously kind of a meme, but I was interested in it to see how good it would be. Much harder to control than I thought. As a result, everything fell apart, but we learned something new about the mission. Who knew that the enemies could pick up the objective and take it places? Very funny. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.